Shetzian is cool. Okay, it's awesome. Okay, let's be fair, it's, it's legendary. But there are some traps you might will step into when using it. But today is your lucky day because you are watching this video showing you the three biggest mistakes when using Shetzian. And I don't mean specific things like, oh, never use the third button variant or something like this. No, I mean real mistakes that matter on a long term. But wait, Toby, why are you not using Excalibur? Yes, you got me here, because I use something that is even better than Excalibur. It is called Zemvius, and thankfully it's the sponsor of today's video. Zemvius is just a whiteboarding tool, so what it allows you to do is to sketch out some wireframes before actually jumping into code. Because let's be honest, in today's AI world, the skills that actually still matter is creating a great user experience and planning things. But why should you not use something like Excalibur or Figma? Just because this one here is easier, it's faster and it's cheaper. With the code TOBY one month, you get one month free premium. Links in the description and the free tier is pretty generous. Thanks to Samvius for sponsoring this video and let's move on. So the first mistake when using Shetzian is no customization. Let's look at Shetzian. It looks good. As I already mentioned, it looks clean and it looks minimalistic. And this website was actually updated a week ago and is now even cleaner. But there is one problem. It's somehow sad. It's like there are no colors and it always looks the same, right? And that's kind of like the biggest problem. Because what you could do is you could head over to themes here and then you could say mm, red or orange or green or blue, yellow. Okay, cool. But Design is not only color, it is more than that. It is the shape, the shadows, the creativity behind it, or yeah, actually also the font. So what we get here is not enough. So we need to update, we need to tweak it a little bit. So I found a website called TweakCN, links in the description. They have ChatCN themes and they have a lot of them. You have themes like Vercel here, the theme of T3 chat. You have funny things like vintage stuff, but you also have Claymorphism, where everything is just like more rounded. But there's also one more, which I pretty like. It is here, Neobrutalism. Neobrutalism, just shows how changeable Shetzian actually is. So it doesn't have to look like this because it can actually look like this. And the greatest thing here is that there's not even much you have to do. You just go into your project and when initializing Shetzian, you typically get a lot of these variables here. So like in your root, and then you have the counterpart for the dark mode. And this is not only colors, for example, it's also the radius. So changing the Shetzian theme is just copy and pasting new variables in here. It's that easy and it's so easy to create something that just fits your brand, your style, your niche or whatever. So brand it your own way and bring your shirts here into life. And let's get to the second mistake, having no system. What do I mean with that? If we look at Shetzian, we see it's opinionated. Opinionated or opinionation or whatever means that there is a specific opinion behind it. Like things are rounded in a specific way, things have a specific color, have a specific look to it. But not only that, it's also opinionated on a code level. It is opinionated in the way which colors it uses by default, how the color variables are named, how the component JSON is set it up. So like where, for example, are the UI components actually saved? Because maybe you don't want it to be in a components and then in a subfolder called UI because UI is like everything. It would be better to name it something like Shetzian UI, for example, right? And then you have your components, which are opinionated as well. They use packages and they don't ask you before doing that. So they, for example, use class variance authority, or they use a function that uses TW merge and CLSX, which is something that actually doesn't make sense because both are somehow doing the same. And then you have all these variants and the usage of props. A lot of opinionated things in here. But why is that a problem? Because actually it is not. It is okay that things are opinionated because they need to have some opinion. One of the biggest opinions in here is, for example, that it uses Tailwind. But that is fine because most projects that get newly created nowadays are built with Tailwind. But what you need to do now is the following. Look at your project. Maybe it's already an existing project. Maybe it's a completely new project. But you will get more and more UI components. They should all have the same opinion because it would be a bummer if the Shetzian components are completely different than all the other components of your application because then it gets a mess. So ask yourself the following questions. Do I want to support dark mode and light mode or do I want to have more themes or no theme? Do I, for example, want to allow that class names are passed down in the subcomponents? Because you could say that this is bad style. But a following question would be, do you want that the Shetzian files itself 
change. So should they stay atomic, like how they are on the Shetzian webpage? Or do you want to completely customize the whole thing? It is fine, but you just have to ask yourself this question. And then some other questions. Do you want to use the CN function in your whole application? Because these components are not the only place where you will use that. Or do you want to stick with Lucid React, which is a icon library? but there are so many other icon libraries out there, or maybe your existing project has their own icon library, then you need to change that in here. So the overall goal should be to merge your Shetzian components with your project's components. So everything has the same opinion. And that was the second mistake. And let's get to the third mistake, which somehow sounds a little weird because it is using Shetzian because maybe you don't even need to. I mean, of course, if you start your project from zero, like you have nothing and you want to build a project, go with Shetzian. It will make so many things easier. But if you have an existing project and you just want to accomplish some things, like you want the functionality of the components from Shetzian or you want the accessibility advantages of it, then you don't have to opt into Shetzian because Shetzian is actually just an opinionated layer above something different. And this is Relix UI. These are the actual primitives that Chatsian is based off. So if we look into code here, we see a Cordium primitive from Radix UI. Radix UI is actually the underlying magic of Shetzian. So if you already have an existing project and you already have your styles, you just want to get the accessibility advantages. This is what you should look at. So here you actually have all the components. You have the alert dialog, you have the accordion, you have the menu bar, the dialog, for example. These are all here and they are not as much as opinionated as Shetzian itself. So here you get the core functionality and the accessibility advantages without so many opinions. And if you're not happy with Radix UI, no problem problem, there is something called base UI, which is somehow maybe the future of Shetzian, but I don't want to say too much here. And here we also have these components. The thing with Radix UI is it now has been bought, so it's not that any pattern and it feels a little bit not perfect here and there, I would say. But base UI has the same advantages and feels pretty, pretty clean. So maybe this is a thing for the future, but currently this is just in beta. So keep that in mind. And also, of course, keep in mind that this is unstyled. So here you, for example, see the core structure, but what you actually have to do is to go into this and add class names if Tailwind or CSS doesn't matter, but just keep that in mind. And that's already it. Here you can see my last video about Cursor's huge update. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a great day. Bye-bye.